my name is Jill Bray Bowen, CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and your host of the NMC Health Beat Show, dedicated to discussing important healthcare topics of interest to our community. Today I have with me Jeff Moreau, NMC's Director of Development. On today's segment, I'm excited to share with you the story of NMC's exceptional history, something I'm so passionate about documenting for our community. So Jeff, thank you so much for being with us today. It's my pleasure. You know, you have these fundraising responsibilities, especially now with our, our major project. But when you first came to NMC, you were tasked with a major project to capture the history of NMC. So can you tell us a little bit about how that all happened and what's been accomplished? Certainly. Well, let me start off by saying it really is such an honor to be a part of celebrating our history. Mm. As you know, my grandmother worked for the St. Albans yes. Hospital, my mom worked <laughs> for Curbs, and now I'm at NMC. Yeah. So to, to be able to document this history is very special to me. Yes. Uh, we, we went to the St. Albans Museum, and um, that's, that was the starting place. <laughs> and um, I'm really pleased to announce today uh, that we've developed a new partnership where we will be displaying uh, at the hospital after our construction is done a rotating exhibit wow. of uh, their medical uh, exhibit right at the hospital. That and is so cool. So people will be able to see artifacts uh, and photos uh, from our history. Uh, we'll be adding to that collection. Uh, their medical room is, is very special uh, and unique, so certainly we encourage people to visit it. But yeah. guests uh, at the hospital will be able to see it on a regular basis. Uh, so we're really, what an really idea. excited I love about that. that. And then um, we really wanted to put together a video uh, that tells the story of um, health care in our community. Mm -hmm. And so, again, we began with the museum, um, and we started interviewing people in our community. And what a rich, detailed story. <laughs> uh, we, we didn't capture it all, but we're really excited about uh, what we were able to put together. And it not only uh, shares our history, but as you know, paints a really uh, yeah. nice vision for our future. It does, it's so moving each time that I I see it. It's just um, just incredible. It just hits you right in the heart. It certainly does. So can we take a look at the video? Absolutely. All right. Let's do it. Let's watch this video. Yeah, I've been amazed at how much the community cares about what NMC brings. Fundamentally, it's about our people and our community. It's about our staff, our volunteers, our medical staff, and the people that entrust their care to us in Franklin and Grand Isle counties. It's creating that relationship with our community. You can hear it in the feedback that we get from patients about the quality of care that they get here. I'm absolutely extremely passionate about this hospital and this community and having a vision of wellness. What's most important, it isn't my vision. I get the staff involved, I get the medical staff involved, I get the community involved, and what do you think is important? What are the needs of this community? What are the needs of the staff? And then how do we bring that together for a collective vision? I think there's a really strong, unique support for this institution and, and the staff, the leadership, the healthcare providers that feels unique. We're so lucky to be in a small community like this and so many active people. When you see the big uh, blue H on the road signs, it typically stands for a hospital. We want it to stand for the center of health, that this campus is a catalyst to wellness and prevention. It's a small community, and we keep track of each other. I still see people on the street from both places. I, just the other day, somebody said, Kathleen, you helped deliver this baby, and here's my granddaughter. This is she. You know? <laughs> Does that make you feel old? <laughs> but uh, people remember you. The history of this hospital is very fascinating when you think about 
how it got started and then how the second hospital location got built and really built with money of passion and a gratitude um, about what the care is like in this community. And I think it talks a lot about the strength of this community and the will to come together for one vision and one mission. I think we've all shared that commitment to local health care, that this community will always be cared for. We're part of the community fabric, and I think we'll always need health care. It will evolve and change how we deliver it, what the technology is, what the population base needs for mixtures of specialists. But we've been here since 1883. As St. Albans came together as the population center in Franklin County, Chauncey Warner bequeathed assets to the community to create the first St. Albans Hospital. In 1947, you've got Jeannie Kerbs, local physician, saved her son. When her son was shot down at Camp Kill Care, she was extremely grateful for the services of Dr. Semple, uh, who basically saved his life, and so she wanted to do the right thing. And Curbs Hospital was born. In one of the interesting twists of history, the St. Albans Hospital stayed. So you have to imagine we had two medical staffs, one at each end of the street, and not all docs belonged to both of them. And along with the, the separation of the physical facilities, you had a political split uh, in not only the city of St. Albans, but in Franklin County. That, yeah, you really don't need two hospitals in a community of this size. It was inevitable that there should be a, a union. I think a lot of the issue was, well, where should it be? It was a rather difficult time. Emotionally, people hung on to, you know, the St. Albans Hospital was the original hospital. I was born there, and many people who worked there and were associated with it just didn't want to give it up. Most people in time realized that one location, one site made sense. And it's fair to say common sense eventually prevailed. And I think there was a lot of great feeling that we had come that far. As a community, it ended up really healing a lot of wounds. And instead of having something that was weak uh, and divided, you have something that's unified and powerful. Fast forwarding um, to today, those partnerships continue to be nurtured. When you think about healthcare reform and how the environment for healthcare is changing, we need to come together. When I go around the state, um, people look at Northwestern as a major hospital and a leader. We're a huge resource from an economic standpoint for the community. Northwestern has really established itself as a premier hospital. Northwestern in a very challenging healthcare environment nationwide has continued to be able to provide its mission, providing care to the community of Franklin County, Northwestern Vermont, and be able to do it successfully. And that can't be said everywhere. When you think of the NMC campus as being somewhat of a hub in our community, there's a lot of spokes that go out that are really, really important. And they've been proactive, and I think the community has benefited from is for them to go out there and ask, what can we do as a hospital for our community? It's, it's been a long association with the hospital. NMC does the credentialing for new hires for us. We send our bloods to the lab here. The ER has access to our medical records. Actually, we've compiled a list four pages long of the things that we do together. We're very fortunate to have a small community hospital here. There's a different experience in that hospital. People going out of their way. My wife got sick a few years ago and the care that she received was exceeded my expectations. It doesn't matter what part of the organization you belong to, everybody's an equal part. Walking through the front door and being greeted by a concierge and everyone you meet in the hallway that smiles and says hi to you really makes a difference. This is an organization that is nimble, it's friendly, it's forward thinking, and it is a gem in this community.
where other small hospitals are talking about layoffs or fearful of what's next, uh, this hospital looks to the future and how we can build it better for our community. I think it's important for the community to uh, support this capital campaign because uh, we're just looking to provide better care. There's only uh, so much uh, you can get out of an older hospital. You know, we have not had any major renovations to this uh, or building project to this campus in quite some time. The state of Vermont is changing very quickly. Uh, we're trying to anticipate all of that as part of what we're planning and, and best position the organization uh, for those changes. The purpose of this campus redesign is really about improved workflow and uh, improved access to care and timely care, providing high quality, low cost, and a patient experience. A, a centerpiece of this project is the opportunity to bring specialists to the campus. By integrating an entire campus, including not just the inpatient hospital work, but also the clinical practice surrounding it, it creates a great deal of efficiency. Those efficiencies absolutely improve the quality of the care and the ease of access of care. That patients that come here for inpatient care are in private rooms because of the changes, the technology, the importance for family to be part of a patient's care. We think about the Center for Health and, and folks coming to this campus as a destination. So when they're not only coming here to get a treatment, but they're thinking about what things they can do to improve their own health. So patients can come to the campus and receive whatever medical care they have, whatever wellness programs they're involved in, and ultimately inpatient care and surgeries as needed all on one campus. The legacy is simply put, I think, is to provide that exceptional care for every individual and to make sure that there is a strong healthcare delivery system that this community can count on for the many years to come by the decisions that we're making today. It's all part of what you have to do to best be able to take care of the guy who walks in because he's afraid because he has pain in his chest in the manner that you would like your father or husband to be taken care of there in that situation. It's about people. What makes me smile at the end of the day is the incredible team that I'm working with. They believe in the mission of this organization and they take great pride to bring it alive every single day. Wow, that is a terrific video. I just love seeing it. And I'm, I'm sure the community right now, as they've seen it, is feeling just the way we do every time we see it, which is just so heartfelt. I just love that video. So your work was extraordinary on this, by the way. Thank you. Isn't yeah. it fun? It's it is. So, so, fun. Much, so much uh, filming to come to that. You know, it's just got such, um, such emotion in it and such pride uh, and with that video. And to see all the local faces. I know. You know it's, yeah. It's people in our community that have told the story. It's, it was a lot of fun to put together. Yeah, so tell me about some of the people who shared their stories. Well, you know, we see, we see Dr. Holmes sum it up <laughs> no. at the end. And, yeah. and Dr. Holmes was incredibly helpful um, in putting this uh, video together. He had boxes of news clippings. <laughs> I uh, bet he did. That we went through. <laughs> and, and you mentioned the footage. We have hours and hours and hours of footage that didn't make that final 10 minutes mm -hmm. um, that actually the museum has uh, as part of their collection going forward and all those news clippings and photos have nice. been scanned so we have that uh, for our future thanks to henhouse media uh, yes. they were our partners uh, yes. that helped uh, put they together put the together. production yeah absolutely and you know there's so many people to thank uh, most everybody that we interviewed uh, were, were included in the video, but unfortunately a few folks uh, didn't make the final cut, but they're in that uh, history that the museum holds, That's telling wonderful. those stories. That's wonderful. I'm so glad we did that. I know it took a lot of time and energy to coordinate, but boy, it's really powerful. Well worth it. And you're going to see uh, 
when the project's done at the hospital, different ways for us to be able to use that video uh, through different technologies at the hospital. And the story continues, right? It certainly does. <laughs> so are you looking for other items for the exhibit? I know you talked about the rotating exhibit, so. We are. We're actually working on ordering the display case. Um, and certainly, uh, we wanted to wait until all the construction was done sure. at the hospital. So we're not ready to develop the display, but we are actively trying to build the collection. Uh, so. We encourage anyone in the community, whether it's a photograph or a piece of medical equipment from uh, the era of the St. Albans Hospital or even the um, educational resources that we once had in this community for nursing. Um, if people went to that school uh, or have any yeah. experiences there, um, we'd love to hear those stories. And this community is um, so generous and interested in celebrating our history. The museum does a terrific job mm -hmm. with the messenger. Sure um, so um, we're hoping to spread the word and, and build out that collection. So if someone has any questions, who should they contact after this? Well, certainly I'm uh, happy to chat with anyone. Uh, okay. They can contact me at the hospital, uh, Jeff Moreau. My phone number is 524-8467. And Alex Lenning, our uh, yeah. partner, the director at the museum, uh, he's available at 527-7933. Uh, and he'd be happy to chat with folks as well. That's terrific. We could talk about partnerships and community partnerships and boy that's terrific so thanks for your good work on bringing this together and I know it's a it's a journey we'll continue to grow with this but capturing that history is really extraordinary so thank you for doing that my pleasure Jill all right well this is Jill Bray Bowen CEO of Northwestern Medical Center and so proud to be sharing a history video and the story about healthcare in this community give Jeff a call if you have some things that you'd like to share some stories because we're all in this um, history uh, together. It's a legacy that we're creating together for the exceptional health care that this community deserves.